Hello and welcome to the Fat Boss Guide to Will of the Emperor, 10 Man Heroic in the Mogushan Vaults. Hello. Yes, this fight is very, very good. It's it's a lot better than normal, it's a lot less boring on normal, it's very challenging. You're going to wipe quite a lot on this most likely, but yeah, it's, it's still very, very nice. Now, if you haven't seen our normal mode tactic for this video, please do click up on the annotation on your screen now, because we're not really going to go too in-depth on all the normal mode mechanics, because they have been introduced into Heroic. It's more or less the same fight, so make sure you go watch that video. Now to get straight into it, you want to bring two tanks, two healers and six DPS to this encounter. Multi-Dot is excellent for this encounter and anything with very, very hard CC is also very good. Um, also people who have the ability uh, to use major cooldowns or anything that makes you immune to damage, such as deterrent, stuff like that. Anyone who can do that kind of stuff is perfect for this fight and you'll understand why in a moment. Now there are a couple of changes on Heroic and we're going to go over the minor ones first and uh, first off we're going to talk about the Titan Gas. Now this is constant, it doesn't spawn every now and then, this is constant throughout the fight. It deals less damage than it does on normal because it is constant but it's still a lot to heal. Um, and it still does increase the melee damage of everything, including the bosses and you, by 25%. Which means that you're kind of forced to stack up the majority of the time purely just because of the healing. Now the Devastating Combo has changed on normal mode, obviously it's a series of 5 spells. Uh, on Heroic, it's a series of 10 spells, but they're the exact same spells. You still have the Devastating Arc and you have the Stomp. You need to just avoid them, and once you have avoided the series of 10 spells, your extra action button, rather than hitting for 500 crate, it hits for a mil. So it's exactly the same. So it's like double risk, double the reward. So as long as you're not massively shit and moving in this fight, then yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun with that button. Now the one major change in this fight is that when any of the adds die, they spawn a Titan Spark. Now this um, has a fuck ton of HP and it fixates on a random player. Now when it gets close to any player, it explodes for 750k damage to everyone within 8 yards which is really bad. Um, also, if it explodes near any of the adds or the bosses, they will gain a 50% attack speed buff for a very long time as well. Now, this one mechanic changes everything about this fight because you just got to organize people to go and soak these up because, you, yeah, you just need to. They have so much health that it's pointless killing them because it's just so much wasted DPS and a lot of your DPS isn't even on the bosses. It's on the adds the majority of the time. Um, so the sparks literally just have to be soaked. Now we're going to go through each different add on how the Titan Sparks affect how you have to deal with them. Well, first off, we're going to start with the Rages. Now when the Rages spawn, what you really want to try and do is CC um, the first wave and even maybe the second wave if you have enough CC. So you end up with either four or six Rages all on top of each other. Then what you want to do is just AoE the shit out of them so they all die roughly around the same time very, very quickly. Then you'll have six Titan Sparks all on top of each other. At this point, you want to throw someone in who has like an immunity effect, like a paladin or like maybe deterrence. Um, it, that stops the damage coming through as well, and just soak all six up at once. And this just makes it so much easier. And that's the easiest way of dealing with the rages. So just CC a couple of waves, uh, do as much as you can, and then just run in and absorb it all. You might need to make a rotation um, in order to soak all these up, and you can determine that rotation by what your raid comp is. However, one thing to note is that if you do have a lot of soakers, CC might not necessarily be your best option. You might literally just be able to kill them as they spawn and go and soak them. However, CC, it, it makes more sense to do it really because, yeah. you know, it makes the adds die a little bit quicker overall. Now, the Courages, they still work exactly the same. Um, they'll always target the tank that's furthest away and they'll, e they'll either spawn on the left or the right hand side and after that, it'll, they'll always spawn on the opposite side of which they originally spawned on. So they spawn on the left originally, then they'll spawn on the right and then the left and the right. And if your timers are good, um, you can actually be right underneath them when they spawn which means you can kill them almost instantly they barely move at all which is great now the people who are best dealing with this spark is people who are either in melee range on the other bosses um, and rogues are great for this rogues because they can use cloak of shadows on one and they can like cheat death the other and you can more or less just completely cover them all on your own as a rogue um, however if you do need to use people from the raid then you need to call it and you need to create your own sort of rotation system for that particular one as well and the same goes for the strength the person who tanks the strength like the person who needs to keep aggro on it make sure that it's kept out of the raid and move from the big circle just like you do on normal works exactly the same that person should try and be the person that always deals with the spark on that guy as well however it goes for the same with the courage you need to work out some sort of rotation system if you can't take every single spark yourself so as you're sort of doing going through this encounter you'll notice that you're spending almost all your time dpsing the ads 
um, and the bosses will look like they're going down quite slowly. However, there is an interval um, where the ads stop spawning. On normal mode, that interval is when the gas spawns. However, the gas is already up on Heroic, so the interval, you won't really notice it. You'll notice it from timers if you do have them. During this interval, you want to ignore any ads that are currently up, and there shouldn't really be many ads up anyway, and you just want to nuke the boss, get as much damage out on the boss, and then switch back to the ads once the interval is over. Using these intervals is a very, very good idea. So if there are a set of rages just coming, then just CC them, or, if they, like, or just make sure they're all dead before this little interval will come. As we mentioned, there is sort of like a pseudo enrage on this boss where the ads are just spawning too quick for you to handle them. Um, at this point, if you do reach this point, and if you decide to use free healers, which we really advise against, but if you do use free healers, um, you probably will hit this. And at this point, you just completely need to ignore ads, CC them as much as you possibly can, and just nuke the boss because you're not going to be able to deal with it. And the same goes for around the 10% mark. Even if you're not going to hit the enrage, you might as well just CC the ads. Um, prevent the ads from doing anything for the next 20 seconds and then just nuke the boss because it's time wasted on the ads when the boss is, you know, they just need to fucking die, so... Yeah. So to summarise it, it's all about setting a rotation for killing the sparks and like we say, it's quite difficult for us to tell you exactly what to do because we don't know your raid comp and it does, you know, it completely revolves around your raid comp but if you do have a large selection of players to bring Bring people like Hunters, like Shadow Priests, like Paladins, anything that can make the Sparks look like a joke. And that will more or less get you the kill. So that's it guys, thank you for watching. If this guy did help you out, then please do give it us a thumbs up. It does help us out quite a lot, and make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see other 10-man heroic guides by Fat Boss, please do click up on the annotations you see on your screen now. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.